Hello and welcome once again to some more Critic Captain 2020 and part 10 of, no, part 9. I keep getting these uh, episode numbers wrong, but part 9 of the Road to World Number 1 with England. And today we have the deciding test match against Pakistan uh, in this three-match test series. Now, I uh, had a couple of questions actually during the ODI series of why this series is called the road to world number one when we're already world number one in um well one day international cricket and and yes quite quite right but certainly the project for that is to stay at number one uh, but the test match you can see we're currently in sixth place so uh, i want to, to to improve that and get us to uh or back to world number one uh so the return the, the the road to world number one with england that's why it's called that um just to clear that up thank you for uh, everybody's uh, tips and tricks down below in the comment section do appreciate though that uh, you know i can't do it the way all of you are telling me uh, and saying you should do this you should do that um it, it can get a little bit much um i do appreciate the advice don't get me wrong but actually lots of of people saying different things conflicting information and whatever so i am st Trying to take a couple of tips here and there, uh, but mainly sort of focusing on, on my philosophies with it all as well. So, yeah, just appreciate that uh, instead of maybe saying the same thing every single comment section. But uh, with that out of the way, uh, we're, we're here to pick our squad for the uh, the third test match. And uh, it's, it's quite a tough decision, really. I mean, this series so far, uh, I think you can actually do versus... Uh, Pakistan, there we go. So you can see, yeah, Mark Wood didn't have the best of matches, to be honest with you, and I don't think he's going to retain his place. Um, you know, all of our bowlers have struggled somewhat, uh, you would say. Um, but uh, certainly batting-wise, we've been doing all right. Joe Root, actually, uh, the lowest average of the lot, apart from Livingston, um, which is which is interesting. Ben Stokes doing really, really well. Uh, 225 runs a series. Sibley's gone and got 237. Ollie Pope's got 243. So there's, there's plenty of runs in there um, for our guys, which is absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, uh, we're going to keep on going. Um, with this squad for the most part. We'll take Mark Wood out because, you know, I've already said he's not playing, so there's no point keeping him in the squad. Uh, but we will have a little look at the current year uh, in first-class cricket and see who's been doing really well with the ball, who's got the most wickets. This guy, Mil Milnes, Matt Milnes, uh, never heard of him. <laughs> 26 years old, looking pretty good, though. Um, obviously Stuart Broad is up there uh, Don Bess is, is somebody that I've heard a lot about uh, but we've kind of got that covered with, with Jack Leach in terms of having a spinner David Willey doing pretty well Craig Overton uh, Salisbury certainly had him last year Verdi in there as well another person that I've heard a lot about Graham Onions probably a bit old now uh, let's have a little look at the average though um, so Wag here, he's got a pretty decent average. Um, Miles, Craig Miles, again a very good average. His bowling form it is pretty decent, um, but he doesn't add much in terms of, of batting, uh, which could be a little bit of a problem. I'm, I'm sort of looking for that lower order all-rounder. Tom Curran in there, but not in good form particularly at the moment so um it's actually a very very tough decision so let's just have a look on the the most wickets again uh, maybe we'll have a look at uh, test matches Joffre Archer I suppose is, is somebody that could come in and do a job for us uh, he's been playing uh, 20 over cricket recently not too much red ball this year um so yeah, only two first-class matches, and I think that was with us, uh, to, to be honest. Um, mm. Very tough, very tough decision, and, and, you know, to be honest with you, I might just bring in 
the likes of Johnny Bairstow. Let's see how he's done for his county. He's gone away, and he's done all right, to be honest with him. So let's bring uh, Johnny Bairstow back. So looking at the squad, this is this is how it's looking at the moment. So a bit of batting practice for the openers and Root again. Johnny Bairstow can have a bit more batting practice. Liam Livingston, Chris Walks, because I think Chris Walks will come into the squad. Um to possibly replace uh, Wood, but uh, we'll we'll have a little look at it. So Sibley and Burns, I think that's a, a, an unchanged opening uh, partnership. We've got Denley, Root, Pope, um, Bairstow I'm, I'm on the fence about, Walks, uh, Stokes, uh, Curran, um, that's quite a lot of bowlers, isn't it? <laughs> to say the least. Let's have a look at the conditions. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty hot. So, I think spin will come in later on in the match, which, it, you know, I think we should keep an eye on. Um, yeah. So, Livingston misses out. Yeah, I'm going to go for that because our batting performances have been pretty good. That This top six have done really well. Curran and Walks can do a job. Broad can do a job if needed. Yeah, I think that's what we'll go for. Um, yeah, I think that looks good. So let's uh, play the match. Tails never fails. Probably want to bat first, so here we go. On this first day, we want to try and get as many runs on the board as possible. Obviously... We've been doing really well with that recently, so let's uh, let's try and continue that in this match. So here we go, Shinwari to Burns, and that's a good delivery, but outside the line. So important that these two build a, a, a good opening partnership. Ah, but Burns is gone. He's out for for five, and we're sixteen for one here. Oh, and Denley gone as well. What a start for Pakistan here. Oh, Root takes no nonsense, but it's almost the problem when you you put too many bowlers in your in, in your squad. You you sort of relying on your, your key line batsmen doing doing their job and and getting runs on the board. Oh, a blinding shot! That's a great shot. Sibley's in great form, so hopefully we'll see him perform again. Root seems to be doing okay so far. Oh, lovely shot from Sibley there. He's middled there. And another one. So Sibley already moving into the 30s. Good shot from Joe Root. Oh, cracker from Sibley. This is great to watch. After a, a tricky start, we seem to have come back here. Here's another four. He's edged it. <sighs> That's high in the air. Is there going to be anyone underneath it? Not quite. It's four. So Root gets away with it. Brilliant. But not this time, he edges that one and Joe Root gone for 39, so just before lunch we lose the captain and it's 89 for 3, so on a knife edge really, this first innings. That's a powerful shot. Ollie Pope, a man that scored uh, three consecutive test match centuries, he needs to go and score another one now. This is certainly a positive start from him. Yeah, nicely played. It's interesting that they're, they're relying so much on spin here. Well, that's given Sibley gone. He's out for 45. So now Ben Stokes comes to the crease as our last mainline batsman. And he's gone. He's out. He's out for one. It's 116 for five here. That's a thick Sam Curran comes to the crease and he knows fine well what responsibility he's got today to try and help us turn this around. We need to be getting to at least 250 really. That looks like it's going to the boundary. 
And hopefully, Ollie Pope is going to help us do that. Ooh, how did that miss? Oh, well hit. So, great shot. That's high in the air, and it's six. What a shot from Sam Curran. Out. But he's gone. He's out for 25. Edged and gone. So Chris Walks, again, a, a big responsibility on him to try and guide us here. Builder had no chance. What a corker of a clean balled. Well, I'm expecting Broad to to be pretty similar here. T interval day one, 179 for seven. Well hit. Oh, what a shot from Broad though. He's picked that up nicely. And if he can start doing well, they're appealing. That's out. Out. Well, we should have done better with that. Three consecutive centuries, but not today. Pope gone for 38, so Jack Leach comes to the crease now. And we're not even going to get to 200. That's it, the pads. No, not out. Come on, Stuart. Poor shot. Not quite. Oh, what a shot. That's six. So Broad having a bit of fun out there. A big appeal. I think Jack Leach has got to be licking his lips at this now. Fine shot. Yeah, good shot from Broad into the 30s Ow. now, but Anderson gone. He's balled for three. So 212 all out. What a disappointing uh, performance from us there. And, well, we're going to need to do a hell of a lot better than that. Anderson into Ali. He needs Ooh. to get off to a good start. Um and, and get us going here. Broad and Anderson really need to show their worth. And there's Anderson with the first wicket. Ali gone for a duck. It's two for one. Very, very good. Right then. Chris walks back into the attack for the first time this summer. End of day one. 30 for one. We need to see that these bowlers are worth the sacrifices that we've made. Stokes in Ahmed. That's a good good ball. And it's out. Ahmed gone. Yeah. Good delivery. Ahmed gone for 32. So Stokes gets his first wicket. Now into Azam. Not quite. Jack Leach to Ulhak. Oh, he was nowhere near that one. Uh, outside the line, I think. But the umpire's unmoved. Leach now to Azam. Seems to be getting into his rhythm, and he's got it. Azam gone for eight. Excellent. So we'll bring Broad back. Well, lunch interval day two, 104 for three. Still lead by 108 runs. Well, managing to keep the run rate down at the very least. And Walks gets his first wicket. Shafiq gone for 21. And here he comes again to Ali. And that's out as well. Great couple of deliveries there from Chris Walks. And we've now got Pakistan 5 down. Good stuff. Stokes in all hack and he's gone as well. He's out for 63. This is exactly what we needed. Anderson to Rizwan. Not out. Good decision. Not quite. I think that might have been missing leg stump. And it was. Only just. Stokes now to Rizwan. No, that was missing. Jack Leach to Rizwan. Come on. Got him! What a catch that was from Joe Root, the captain. Coming up with the, the brilliant catch there. Curran now into Shah. Whoops. Oh, well, that... dropped. No. Brought into Shah. That's a terrific delivery. 
And he's gone. He's out for four. Amazingly. Looks like we might even get a lead out of this. Oh, this is great. And this is why we've got the amount of bowlers that we have. There we go. So Broad finishes it off with his second wicket. And well, what a recovery for us. We've bowled Pakistan out for 206. Chris Walks, Stuart Broad, uh... Um, uh, ben Stokes and Jack Leach all with two wickets and Curran and Anderson getting the other two and uh, well we actually lead by six runs who would have thought that but uh, we've got plenty of time now to try and build a bit of a lead unfortunately Rory Burns gone for one so straight away here struggling I think we just need to, to try and dig in here get these settled it's a big shout not out Pitched outside leg, I think. Yeah. Right off the middle. Mm, good shot for four, that. Nice. That's. You know, the problem with this innings, we're setting a target now. So we've really, really got to be on top of our game. Yeah, pretty good. So end of day two, and we've reached 46 for one, a lead of 52 runs. So we might as well start calling a 52 for one there. That's a great shot. Yeah, nice one from Denley there. Starting to build a... A solid lead. Still need to push on here. But because we've got plenty of time, Four you know, we've got three days to to win this match. Pads, oh, what a terrific out. delivery from Afridi. Denley gone for 37. Two down now. He's timed that well. That's a nice shot from Sibley. He moves on to 49. And there's his 50. Well played from Dominic Sibley. And he continues his good summer. The edge. But now more than ever, we need him to convert it to the big 300. Oh, great shot from Root. Whack that. Lunch interval day three. 113 for two. So, not too bad. That's four as well. But we know we need to... He hasn't got hold of that. We need to keep pushing. Well, Way four buys. That'll help. Excellent shot. Good shot from Sibley. Soundly beaten, but is it out? Oh, well Not outside out. the line. No point in glaring at the batsman. Nice shot. Played that well. Yes, lovely. And another one. Played that well. So Pakistan take the new ball. Well, there's 50 for Joe Root. A captain's innings. T interval day three and okay. We haven't been scoring at a particularly good rate. A big shout goes but we up. haven't lost a wicket. Well, that hit the bat first. Well, what a shot that's for. So I think now... These two are settled. We need to get them to start playing. That's a good looking drive. Closing in on the top score of the match. That could be out though. Not quite. That's a massive shot for well, that's going to be out. Sibley gone. 
what a shame. He's out for 86, but what an innings. And he's virtually saved us here. You know, he if he got out early, I think it could have been a very quick turnaround. But both him and Root have dug in and now allow us to go a bit freer. That was close. The bat so just need to time this. Need to time this well. You know, we've probably got another two sessions to get runs on the board. But equally, we don't want to get out too soon. But there's a sentry for Joe Root. Captain Root gets to three figures. And what a fantastic performance from him. At the end of day three now, 261 for three. That's a lead of 267. Still two days to go. We'll have a quick look at the weather forecast. It may get a little bit murky towards the end of uh, tomorrow's day. So I think the sooner we get to an unattainable target, the better. But Pope is gone. He's out for 24. His three consecutive centuries seem like a distant memory now. That's a blistering shot. And now Stokes is in, and hopefully he can start... To perform, he only got one in the first innings. Well, he but Root's gone. A little feather. He's out for 117. He's played all round that. And this is almost the problem. It struck him in line. Well, the batsman's always going to get the benefit of the doubt. You know, I wouldn't fancy Pakistan to chase 300, but they've certainly got the time to do so. Appeal. Stokes has gone. He's out. He's out for 17. So Walks comes in now. Beautiful ball. And so why don't we take it to them a little bit? The bats are most completely beat. He's miscued that. Edge to four. Bolden. Oh, what a delivery. Walks gone for nine. Well. I mean, Broad's not done too badly batting-wise recently, but there you go, 338 the lead now. You wouldn't fancy Pakistan what an enormous shot. to do this, but uh, as I say, they've got plenty of time. Big shout. The umpire says... There could be a run out here. Oh, no. Oh, Curran's gone. He's out for 22. Well, that could be a big, big turning point, that. That's it, the pads. Broad's gone. So. It struck him in line. Right, shall we attack with these two? We know it's going to be all over. Good ball. He had. It's a big shout. <laughs> Anderson gone for three. So there you go. 344 all out. That's a lead of 350. So that means Pakistan now 351 to win from plenty of, plenty of time, really. It's just going to be a question of whether we can get 10 wickets as well. Uh, you know, if we get close to 10 wickets, Pakistan will not win this match because they'll have to shut up shop. Out. But there you go, Anderson gets all hack. That's a big wicket early on. If we can get three or four wickets in the rest of this day, I put us massive favourites to win this match. Brought to Ahmed now. Not quite. Right, Walks and Stokes. The old partnership from Critter Captain 2017. Oh, that's not far away. Not quite. T interval day four, then 79 for one. They only need 272 to win. That's the terrifying thing. Safely but passed. there's our second wicket. Ahmed gone for 47. And that's a big wicket to get because he was scoring at a decent rate. Come on. Leech now to Azam. The batsman was. <sighs> Not quite. Current at Ali. Gone, what a ball, and he's gone for 44. That's an excellent breakthrough to make towards the end of this day. 
broad now to his arm. And there's the fourth wicket. He's gone for 41 now, and we've got two new batsmen at the crease. And, well, what a chance. End of day four, then. It's 164 for four. We need six wickets to win. They need 187 runs. It's going to be incredibly close. Edged and gone, though. Broad gets Ali. He's out for four. What a start to the day for us now. Five wickets to win. Oh, well, another day. But they've still got hitters that can win them this match. Leach now into Shafiq. That's out. What a catch. What a catch from Sibley. He's gone for 30. Four wickets to win now. But Pakistan closing in on 100 to win, and that's going to be a big milestone for them if they can pull it off. Stokes and Curran. Curran now into Khan. Oh, the appeal went up. New ball is available just after lunch, so it's going to be James Anderson. To ball the first ball after lunch and what a delivery is that going to be out? Side and yes, the umpire agrees. Not out. Not quite. Let's have a look at this. That was so close and look at that. Well, Anderson now to Khan. Edged and gone. He catches it. Sibley's got it. He's out for 36, but it's only 65 to win for Pakistan here. Anderson now to Shah. Ooh, there was no end. Not quite. This is huge. Broad to Shah now. Oh, he's dropped it. What a difficult chance. Well, has he just dropped the series? Beautiful ball. Oh dear. Forty to win here. This is this this could well be not going our way. Leech to Rizwan. That's the big wicket. That's the one we needed. Rizwan gone. He's out for 84. What an innings he's had. And now, two tail enders. That's all we need to win this match. Oh my god. Leech to Shinwari. That's Got him! Yes! What a catch from the captain route. Shinwari gone. And now we got to increase our aggression. we got to get numbers in around the bat. 18 to win. 6 to win. We're going to go every ball. Anderson. To a Freedy. Oh, that was just not a good delivery. Anderson now into a Freedy and that's wide. It's wild. Oh, it is a wide. Oh dear, five to win now. Yeah, well, well defended. <laughs> One more ball. Right, who do we go for? I suppose it's Leach. Oh, and it's four! Scores are tied! 350 up. Scores are tied! Well, this is unbelievable. And Pakistan have won it by one run. Oh, well, I mean, I thought when we'd got Rizwan, I thought we'd done it. I really did. And in some ways, I cannot believe we didn't. How have we lost that test series? And this is exactly what I said. I mean, we were dominant in the first two matches, but couldn't quite get over the line and drew those. And now we've lost the Test Series against Pakistan, which is a huge result, really. You know, I mean, we've played by far the most amount of Test matches. And 
yeah, I think it's going to be really tough to get uh, to the the final now. Uh, you know, get into that top two. That is going to be a really tough uh, break. But uh, wow, I, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting to to be beaten in the series by Pakistan. But it sort of shows how much work we've still got to do. You know, the likes of Jimmy Anderson, Stu Broad, they're getting on. They're getting on in their careers now, and uh, it's it's something that we definitely have to to consider going forward. Anderson is thirty eight, Broad is uh, thirty four, so you know another year next year. Um, crazily, uh, Mo and Ali is the the third most uh, wicket of the the guys left playing. Uh, Steve Finn could be somebody that we bring in. I don't know what his form has has particularly been like this season it's certainly not a name I've seen crop up an awful lot and he hasn't even played any first class matches so yeah it's it's tough it it really is tough uh you know Tim Bresnan but again he's old um you know we need somebody out there that is going to be young and hungry uh, and ready to come in and, and and perform for a good few years um, you know, I suppose Archer is is one of those guys that we really need to to nurture into this this Test match bowler that can get wickets uh, game in game out. But there you go, that's the end of the series against Pakistan, and we've lost the series at one nil. That's a big story. We now have a three one day internationals against Ireland. We should be comfortable in in winning those um in all honesty so we'll see we've then got some one day internationals in india uh, before the uh we then go and play a test match in india later on uh or dipping into t- 2021 so th- you know that's going to be a huge test series as to whether we can we can do it and we're going to have to think about spin bowlers we're going to have to think about whether we take the likes of jimmy anderson but Anyway, if you have enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for Daily Cricket Captain 2020 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.